This is a wild update for the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial. So this is a normal photo, right? No, it's not. It's Johnny passed out with ice cream on his lap. And over here in the corner, there seems to be something. Can't see it? I'll show you. See that? That? Right there? This might seem like a pretty weird picture when first looked at, which to be honest is truly weird and gross. But looking closer, that is the famous bruise kit. And to clear you up, I'm not talking about the color correcting palette, but an actual theater bruise kit. From the beginning of the court case, there has been mention of the bruise kit several times, all those times significantly building to this moment. During the opening statements of Amber's judges, attorney Elaine gave a statement on how Amber had become so used to using the Milani correction kit on her face due to all the injuries she had sustained from Johnny. Milani Cosmetics then came out and clarified that their correcting products were launched in 2017. To salvage the situation, Amber and her team retracted their words and claimed to have used a color correcting wheel similar to Milani but not really Milani. She then launched into a color correcting expert situation of her explaining to the court how she would use the color wheel. She kept saying that the colors would basically be used opposite of each other. If the bruising was red, the color used should be blue. And when the bruising was bluish, then the oranges and reds were used to cover that. Thread. After a day or two, you get more purple in a bruise. Um, so you'd obviously have to go with more of the red tones, the, the orange tones here. Um, day two for me was always the trickiest because um, day two just, I feel like, well, day one and day two are hardest for me because that's when you get the most blues and purples and you have to deal with the sensitivity. Bruises don't like to be touched. That's the whole point. Um, so that's the trickiest part. But uh... Her explanation had seemed rehearsed at first until eagle-eyed Johnny Depp's fans saw this picture of Johnny asleep that Amber had illegally taken to be used in court. In the picture, an actual bruise kit is seen, a bruise kit used by actors to pretend to be bruised for acting. Now the fan fact is that her own makeup artist had claimed that she had done fake bruises before which is why she was able to easily cover Amber's bruises for the late James Corden show. She claimed that she had actually done a pretty flawless job of covering her bruises. Which gets us to the next point, what if all those bruises from pics from Amber's herd team were all created and fabricated on her face? At this point it's safe to assume that Amber and her team are capable of anything, even fabricating for the media. Being actors, she must have been around bruise kits and learned how to use them to fake her appearance. The picture is real evidence of Amber having access to the actual bruise kit and not the makeup. The bruise kit has all the colors exhibited in a color correcting kit plus a yellow. If these kit went everywhere Amber went, so did her bruises. It seriously doesn't surprise me anymore if what I'm saying, the fact that Amber forged her bruises, is true anymore. Anyway that's it for this video, see you in the next one.